at it again with a new video and yeah I'm not this is not the color of New Jersey no it's not I'm in Texas sadly yeah I really miss New Jersey if you're wondering what I think of Texas if you're living in Texas great for you it's not something I love I am a Jersey girl I miss New Jersey and all my friends there so yeah if you're wondering yeah I'm in Texas I can do a room tour if you want comment down below if you want me to do a room tour just comment down below videos you want me to do yeah and I'll totally do it so today's video is going to be testing Pinterest projects tags desserts treats anything like that all of the above because I've seen a bunch of videos like this on YouTube and I've always wanted to try them like always because they look just so fun to do and I've always wanted to experiment because I want to be a scientist just kidding <laughs> So yeah, let's just get on with the video. Boom! Apparently, you mix these two together. It's our snow here. You mix a little bit. It's a lot of cornstarch. Oh my god. You really feel cornstarch? It feels weird. And then I'm just gonna... You can use any shaving cream. I don't think it'll work with really like gel kind. Just take it. Well, I'm gonna see how this goes. I actually made something here. It smells really good because of this song. Yo, Wes. You know, it kind of works. It just feels like, it feels like shaving, it doesn't really create anything. Can I create a ball or something with this? Can I create like a ball? It's supposed to be Play-Doh. Like, what the hell is this Play-Doh? You know, it kind of works, but it's not like a Play-Doh. It's just like something fun to play with. It feels like moon sand, like that stuff. It's a little bit powdery here. Oh, no. Yeah. You have to like knead it a little bit and then you get it into like a dough. It does make a dough! We got dough! Yay, it makes a dough actually. I think this would be fun for kids to do. Success! It does work. Fun to play with, not to eat. Don't eat shaving cream. Ew, that's gross. Use an exacto knife or this is just a knife. Parent supervision required. Use a parent supervision. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut the bottom of it. Take a sock, and this is a little bit long, so we're just gonna see how this goes with the sock. I feel like it's a little too long, though, so I'm gonna make it a little shorter. Put the sock at the bottom of the cup, and I'm just gonna use a hair tie to secure it. I feel like I'm just ruining this whole water bottle. I feel bad for it. Gotta pour water in it. Don't do it in a uh, bedroom. You should take bubble solution since I don't have that. Take some dish soap. I kind of really don't want to do other things. Until you think it's a nav, I really do not want to do other things. Got a little bit more water. I'm ready to see if this works.
but it's coming out. Yeah, fail! It might work if you actually have bubble solution, but since I don't have bubble solution, it does not work. Total fail! Let's have another toast to the good almighty. Let's go in the garbage. <laughs> so first you want to start off with painting your nail. Don't mind how terrible I'm bad at painting my nail. Just paint your nail whatever color you want to. And then get a piece of aluminum foil or whatever you want to mix these items on. It said aluminum foil on Pinterest, so I used an aluminum foil. And then I just put on the clear top coats and then you can either use um, cornstarch or baking powder or baking soda. I use baking powder by accident instead of baking soda, but it still like it still is like the same thing and then I put too much baking powder down so then I just added more of the clear base so that I can actually get a good consistency and once your nail has dried then you want to just take this consistency and then put it right on top of your nail that you painted and wait for it to dry this is the matte one ignore no, yes, it actually is matte, and then this is the non-matte one, you can see glistens. Um, but it actually turns out a little bit lighter when you do the matte, just warning you. So yeah, I'm going to do this, it turns out a little lighter, ignore my horrible, you know, painting job because I'm terrible at doing nails, but yeah, it actually works. Thumbs up. You can make a candle out of an orange, but I only have like the cutie ones, you know, like whatever they're called. So, well, we're gonna try it. I don't eat oranges either, so I have zero clue how to do this. It showed in the picture, like on the top. I'm just gonna cut off like the top part of it. This is if you keep the stem. I don't like oranges. Like this video if you like oranges, because I don't. So I'm not really sure how you're supposed to like take it out. So I have a fork and a spoon. So I have zero clue. Can you like get this cleaned out all the way? Like, which it I can't do it. I'm gonna show my fingers and see if I can pull it out. Oh, that worked. That worked. So I dried it out, and um, I'm going to pull some of these pieces up. Oh look, I got one big spoon. Most will light up for three hours, so we're going to see if this is going to work. I'm scared I'm going to burn the room down, but we're going to try it. Can you see light on fire? Light on fire, light on fire. Part will get on fire. So I actually got a stem this time. I just cut the knife around the whole thing and then I started picking it out. And I like drank my failed one and then I just picked it out like this and stuff. Um, so we're gonna see if this one's gonna light. It actually has a stem compared to my other one which did not have a stem. So as you can see the difference. Yeah, we're gonna see if this works. I also um, put it under a blow dryer so it'd be dry, you know, because candles aren't wet. So I have two wicks, so you have two tries to see if this will work. As you can see, it does not work. It just burns in the inside. It does not actually get on fire, so this is a fail. <laughs> Any sort, and then you can make a necklace holder out of it. 
So we're going to try that today. I'm going to make a split here. A split here. I remember seeing it and thought it was really cool because my necklaces get all into all tangly. Oh, it works. So you can have a necklace holder for your jewelry. So if you're traveling or you want to bring a necklace in your bag or you just want to store it in your room like that, you can also like spray paint the cards if you want. Cards are super cheap and a perfect DIY for you. For anyone who doesn't want their jewelry to be tangled, which is everyone legit. <laughs> Me all the time. So, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below videos you want me to do. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Just click the big subscribe button. And I love you guys so much. Bye. Why do you got wet? Oh, it smells so good.